Coming up on episode 59, we edit your WordPress flow with Edit Flow. And collaborate your thoughts and ideas with CollabPress. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 59 of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. <laughs> and I'm Dan. Uh, this is the show where we take awesome stuff in the WordPress world, yeah. smash it together, put some context around it, and say, here's what you can do with said plugin, theme, or WordPress service. Uh, as always, hit subscribe. YouTube, we want to hit 10,000 fans. We're just north of 2,000. Yeah. So, yeah. quickly becoming the number one WordPress yes. web show. And quickly so, becoming. Quickly. Only It only took a year to get this far. We are. Uh, like, yeah, like what we do, leave us a comment. Uh, let us know what you want to talk about. And what are we talking about today, Dan? We are talking about something that is near and dear to my heart, which is sort of copywriting, news flow, things like that. Um, so we're going to be talking about two plugins today that are going to allow you, if you're you know part of a magazine or you're looking for a place to create a website uh, for a blog or whatnot, um, edit flow and collab press. Mm -hmm. Two plugins that are going to allow you, two free plugins, that are going to allow you to work with the team in a more organized sort of flow chart sort of way with calendars and sort of, you know, file upload in the case of collab press. We're going to kind of go through those and, and, yeah. and discuss those a bit. The thing is with plugins and with WordPress yeah. in general, people can use this stuff in ways that right. weren't necessarily meant right. to work. And uh, we're kind of putting these two, although they're not the same kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. What we've what we've experienced are people are using these pl people are using right. like e-commerce plugins to to list houses. Yes. Yeah. Or recently, the other day, yeah. somebody uh, who's using uh, our real estate theme is actually using it to showcase antiques. Yeah. They're just looking at it from okay, is a picture is presented well, and yeah. it, it takes field of yeah. fields of data, and I can show this yeah. to the world. So right. that's sort of what this mashup is. So edit flow more for the publisher content type, collab press more of the maybe developer project management type but but you could even change edit flow completely and go go into the you know this the metadata true. and completely yep. tweak that to also work like a project management situation where you could say okay this is you know step 1 the step 2 blah 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 go true. that way so it's kind of interesting that we that you can do that and that's why I put them together sure so edit flow uh, you can get it in the repo or editflow.org yep. made by a few developers also including automatic, yeah. 63,000 downloads, 4.99 out of five stars. We yeah. use it on uh, our local publication, so that's great. Yeah. What does it do? It does calendar, does custom statuses, yeah. uh, statuses of the of like the posts and the pages. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about that. Editorial comments, editorial metadata, notifications, yeah. story budget, user groups. Uh, this is all great stuff. How do we use it? Uh, perfect uh, example would be sort of our, our tourism site that we do for our local yeah. uh, region. Yeah. Our editor goes in and says, here's the story budget. Yep. You know, yep. here's what here's what needs to be, you know, produced for yep. content, written for content. Yep. And then people pitch their ideas yep. <clears throat> about that content. And she can go in and see the dashboard and she mm -hmm. see what is in the pipeline for yep. ideas, yep. for drafts mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then she can go in and leave editorial comments and yep. then they can kind of collaborate on those posts. Um, and then when things are ready to go, once it's edited, ready to go, boom, publish. Yeah. And the major difference between both of these plugins are that with Edit Flow, it is kind of really built into WordPress, where which makes sense. It's developed partly by Automatic. Mm -hmm. So when you're in creating a new post, all of your stuff's going to be right there, mm -hmm. which means I can quickly go in. There will be a section, and I can quickly leave an editorial note and say, mm -hmm. listen, we might want to tweak this. Mm -hmm. I can write from that section, notify somebody, maybe the photographer, and say, listen, we need a really killer um, header or featured image. I'm sorry, featured image for this post. Can you provide that for me? And right. do all that right within the creation of that post. Right. Where with Collab Press, it's done with their own, within their own app. Right. Yeah. Um, or it, yeah, done in a different section. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. different section of plugin. WordPress. Yeah. Um, and uh, so Edit Flow really, you know, builds into the whole post process because it sort of has to, right? Yeah. It sort of has to yeah. be. Um, you know, it, you're not. I guess what you're what you're trying to say is I guess if we had yeah. Edit Flow <laughs> versus Collab Press yeah, yeah. for for editing for editorial yeah, calendars, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would have to go to one section of Collab Press and just read all the updates there. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Edit Flow will kind of 
inline that stuff right into the post. Right into the it makes post. it a little bit easier. Right. Cool. Um, Could have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently I did. <laughs> so so edit flow would be uh, the preferred choice for sort of that editorial calendar. Um, yeah. Any any other insights from you with using the plugin and checking it out? As far as using edit flow, yeah. I just really liked the, sort of the options they gave you um, for built into that creating a post or sure. creating a page. And it extends beyond that. It extends to any one of those tabs yep. um, in that section. So um, for example, in using it, I was playing around with easy digital downloads. Mm -hmm. You can even incorporate it into that. Mm. So if you're creating a new download, I can actually do it that way as well, mm. where I can say, okay, I'll even know, you know, we might want to include, you know, change that if it's a song, change the track length of the song or something, whatever you need to do. Mm but you can incorporate into different events, mm. things like that. That's an really interesting neat. use case. Yeah, I haven't really yeah. thought about that. And then yeah. you could actually have, if you had like a fleet of people uploading yeah. uh, products for sale, you could leave them notes before yep. it gets published and all that yep. stuff. Very cool. Yep. Very it's cool. really, really neat. So that was one of my takeaways there too. Uh, Collab Press is by Scott Basgard of Woo Themes, Brad Williams of WebDev Studios, and a host of other folks. There are lots of them on there. It's 47,000 downloads, 4.2 out of 5 stars. So this works sort of on its own. It has its own tab uh, in the WordPress dashboard, much like Edflow does, but it, there's, no, there's no sort of implementation into creating a new post or mm -hmm. page or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, where Collab Press is going to be different and where you're going to want to maybe use it over edit flow is for the, uh, project management purposes in the way that you can upload files mm. right uh, within that tab for people to look at. And it's very much separate separated from everything else. So here's my task. Here's what I'm getting done. Here are the users that are part of this task. I'm assigning this person with this and... And that sort of that sort of stuff. Yeah, for your same use case for like easy digital downloads, mm -hmm. or if you had some kind of like e-commerce yep. prod product yep. site, right. this would be good for that yeah. in the sense yeah. where you could say, "Hey, time to you know yeah. double check the inventory." Yeah. Or this person yeah. wrote us an email and said that they needed a refund. Can you please process that yeah. refund? Uh, so you can do things like that, and and I do agree with you that um, it's not as streamlined as Edit Flow. Yeah. But it's centralized and organized in one spot. I guess you yep. could look at it that way too. You're not looking all over the place mm -hmm. for things. And we did talk before the episode started, probably could use a little bit more CSS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm sure Scott and, and Brad, um, you know, a lot of effort to build this plugin, of yes. course. Um, and yeah. hey, the, the good thing is, is if you really need to edit it and make it look pretty for whatever reason, yeah, it's all right there, right? You just got to dive into the code and do it. That's right. Um, you know, using the calendar seemed pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, you know, I do like creating new projects and having that dashboard of projects because and another use case would be, hey, if we're building a custom WordPress site, yep. you might install this yep. and have your team of designers and developers kind of exactly. converge on top exactly. of this and say, okay, here's yep. the design project, here's the development project, here's the marketing project. Right. And even just, get it would be really, really cool application if you are, you know, building websites, you grab a theme, um, one of ours preferably, no, I'm just kidding, uh, <laughs> and you're, you're editing it and in the local host, you have this plugin installed and you're just going through and saying, listen, we need to get this done, this done, this done. And then when you're done with it, yeah, remove the plugin. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome implementation. Good call. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So it's two different, slightly different. I would say if you're going for publishing and, and publishing content with a big team of folks, yep. you go with, uh, you go with uh, edit flow. Yep. If you're looking for more of that project management task oriented thing. Yeah. Um, you know, with a twist on maybe using it for publishing. Then you if you go, want to, yeah. yeah. If you want to, then you go with Collab Press. Sort of our wild card that we didn't mention mm -hmm. um, too thoroughly is yeah. CoSchedule. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Garrett Moon just interviewed him for the Matt Report today, oh, awesome. and it's a premium plugin. Mm -hmm. It's only ten bucks a month. It's unlimited uh, yeah. users, unlimited posts uh, for one website. Yep. Um, and this is sort of a very beautiful uh, yes. <laughs> editorial calendar. Right. And it does more than the the than the publishing flow. It's social media too, so right. you can, can kind of schedule your social media. Schedule all of that stuff under one roof, mm -hmm. um, and perhaps we'll go into a deeper review of that if I get access to it from Garrett, which shouldn't be an issue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we can kind of review that more in depth. Right. Um, but you can also check that out, coschedule.com. 10 bucks a month, 14-day free trial. Yeah. Um, looks pretty good, and I can't wait to review it myself. There you go. Anything else you want to add about these crazy plugins? No, I mean, I just Publishing think... in general? No, I mean, I, I, th I think that WordPress by default is sort of designed this way. We talked in... We can WordPress about Ghost and these upcoming platforms that are going to are trying to make WordPress less attractive for specifically for publishing. 
but I think that um, you grab a you grab a great theme. Um, we just released the socialized theme for for, for um, magazines, blog posts, things like that. Yep. You implement a plugin like this, and you really do have a ready to go sort of solution for. I have 15 people writing articles and I need to be able to communicate with, with them in mm. the same place that I'm creating this content. Yeah, I'd love to hear more of your feedback yeah. uh, about how you're managing sort of either your blogging team, marketing team, yeah. and publishing in general on WordPress. It, it's crazy to think that in 2013, um, you know, this type of explosion in publishing is yeah. still on the still on the uprise. Yeah, yeah. You would think like blogging and publishing this stuff. Right. I mean, haven't we been doing this for like right. the last 10 years? <laughs> What's up, people? <laughs> uh, but no, it's still continuing to grow and WordPress is definitely in a good position Absolutely. for all this stuff going Absolutely. on. Uh, as always, find us, SilicumStudio.com, SilicumStudio.com slash subscribe. Join the mailing list where this guy will send you awesome stuff every month. Um, check out the themes that we've done. Like Dan said, Socialize is mm -hmm. tremendously popular and mm -hmm. we thank everybody who's been purchasing it. Mm -hmm. Um, Check that out, SiliconStudio.com slash WordPress themes. Mm -hmm. You can see more of that. Uh, as always, hit the subscribe button. Check us out. Yeah. What else do you want to see on the show? Uh, we're always getting comments, yes. emails, suggestions. Let us know in the comments. Google Plus yes. is now it's integrated now the into comment comments. place for YouTube. No more trolling. Yes. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Not that we get a lot of that stuff. Uh, all right, everybody. Thanks a lot. And thanks. we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys.